Hi everyone, I'm Apollonia Ponti, your dating and relationship coach, founder of ApolloniaPonti.com, and I am your coach for you men to attract that woman that you truly, truly desire and get the confidence to have that love life that you deserve. And in this video, we are going to talk about rebound relationships. Obviously, this is a really, really common thing, and I wanted to touch a little bit on this subject because there's a lot of questions and concerns that arise after you experience a breakup if you should have a rebound relationship. Now, that whole definition and that whole word rebound relationship is so negative and a lot of people always tell you no about rebound relationships, but I wanna keep it real with you. I'm not saying yes and I'm not saying no and I'm going to tell you why in this video. But if this is your first time visiting, I welcome you to subscribe to this channel so you have daily advice when it comes to dating and relationships. Now, after a breakup, it's normal to experience those questions of who will ever love me again? Will I ever find love or will I ever find a healthy, balanced relationship and start a family with or get married or even will I even find a relationship after I've been married for all this long? Will I find the woman that I'm supposed to be with? These are all valid, valid thoughts that come through our head. And sometimes when you focus on these thoughts, you start to question like, am I ready for a relationship or should I just do a rebound relationship because I want to start forgetting about my ex? But how soon is too soon to jump into the next relationship? And that's what we got to discuss. So it's important to really determine where you are in life, like meaning ask yourself questions. Like if you want to get into another relationship immediately after you experience a breakup, are you getting into it for the right opportunities? So ask yourself, are you really ready to love someone new if you still miss your ex? And the last question would be, are you able to give all of yourself in this new relationship? If you answered no, then a rebound relationship or a new relationship would not be the best answer here. And I know rebound relationships sound so horrible because rebounds end up not working out, but I'll tell you something. I have seen a lot of relationships where someone gets out of a relationship and goes into a next one. Hopefully the, that past relationship wasn't a toxic relationship. It was just a relationship that didn't end up working out and they ended up finding the love of their lives this way. So that's why I don't want to put so much negative emphasis on that word rebound relationship because there is good that comes out of everything as well. Because at the end of the day, I want to be honest here. And the reason why I bring that up is because loving someone else can really heal a broken heart. If you're filled with filled within and you know your sense of pride, your sense of self-worth, your self of dignity, you don't have any control over other person's behaviors in a relationship because you are an individual that was born in this life and goes out of this life alone. And at the end of the day, you can't control someone else's behaviors. And even though you might have been the best person in this relationship, maybe something happened where you had to break up with this person and your heart was broken. It doesn't mean that you're clenching on to love, attaching to love and saying like, I need to be in a relationship to feel validated. If so, then you, I would not recommend for you to get in this relationship. But if you were hurt, but found someone that truly, truly sees you for who you are, I would never, ever recommend for you to deny that. I would recommend for you to challenge yourself to see this person, date this person, take your time because sometimes new, pure, good love can heal a broken heart. So at the end of the day, a rebound relationship should only be a relationship if you are fulfilled within and you know that you have the dignity and the self-respect for yourself to find a new relationship and know that maybe a healthy love can help help heal your heart, but also take the time to heal your heart yourself. So the question is, how long is too long? Well, that's really up to you and there is no judgment here. As long as you're being open and honest with your communication with the person that you're with and not just going into a rebound relationship to use them for sex, hoping that your heart will be healed that I've actually made another video about, which I'll put up here in the uh, video card. So you can check that out after you watch this video if this is something that has happened to you. So make those assumptions and make those decisions by yourself. You have the tools in this video, the questions that I ask you to get really get familiar and really don't have any harm or any bad energy around if you do want to jump into a new relationship, especially if you communicate this to the person that is right in front of you, because you don't want to say goodbye to love because that might have been the right one for you. 
If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, I love hearing from you. So please comment, question, share any concerns that you might have, and I'll try my best to personally answer them myself. And because you stay till the very end, I have something special for you. It's called my seven common mistake ebook that men make when attracting a woman. And I'll put that link in the description box below. I've also wrote a blog about how to trust women, and this can help you, especially if you're experiencing breakup or really wanting to maybe see if a rebound relationship or a relation, new relationship is a good idea. I'll put that link in the description box as well. And as always, I'll see you again in the next video. And remember, you are always loved. Bye for now.